Right, number 13 then from the 2016 Advanced Iron Maths. Nine marks, the first of the big guns at the end. Here we go, partial fractions leading to evaluating an integral. First part, don't know how many marks for each part. Express this in partial fractions. Well, it's already been factorised for you, thank you very much. So that means it can be represented as some number over x plus 4 plus some number over 6 minus x. So that means multiplying throughout, we've got a times the 6 minus x plus b times the x plus 4 would equal 3x plus 32. And the best thing to do here would be just to put in knockout values. So we'll knock out the b first so that a gets evaluated first because it's first in the alphabet. So if x is negative 4, that means you'd end up with, in this part, 10 lots of a would equal, and that's going to be negative 12 plus 32, which is 20. So there you go, a equals 2. Now knock this out with a 6, x equals 6, means that you're left with b, and a 6 means that's also a 10. 10b equals, and that'll be an 18 and a 32, which is a 50, which means that b is 5. So, popping back to here, that can be expressed as that was 2 over x plus 4 plus 5 over 6 minus x. Well, that was relatively painless. Then, the second part. Evaluate this integral by giving your answer in the form of log of a rational number. Well, the first thing is, that was the same as that. So, I suppose I should write it out again. So it's of 2 over x plus 4 plus 5 over 6 minus x dx. Well, they both go to logs. That part there, it's quite safe, its derivative is 1. That part goes to 2 ln of, now here's the thing, you're probably as well putting in the little absolute values in, but since it's been evaluated, there's no chance of this thing in here being a negative, so I'm going to call that x plus 4. That one is going to go to 5 ln of, and again with those limits there's no chance of that being negative, but the inner derivative's negative 1, so minus that. That's what's to be evaluated. I would maintain within those limits, with that particular domain if you like, they can't be negative. Probably safer for you to put those in. But I'm not going to evaluate it just now. You could put the numbers in and get a big long expression. I think I'll tidy this up first. I think I'll rewrite that as ln because I can pop the powers in and I can do the division as the subtraction of the logs. So I'm going to call that x plus 4 squared over 6 minus x to the power 5 and just evaluate that from 3 to 4. That'll be easier. So first evaluation, putting 4 in, that'll be ln of 8 squared over 2 to the power 5 minus ln of putting 3 in, that will be 7 squared over 3 to the power 5. Getting there. Then, again, subtracting logs so you can divide the arguments. That means I can have ln of, but first of all, that's 2 to the power 3, so that's 2 to the power 6, that's 2 to the power 5, so that's just a 2, that's just ln 2. But subtracting this means dividing by 3 to, dividing by this, so it would be times 3 to the 5 over 7 squared, almost there. Well, that's definitely 49 that's underneath. And that would be 81 times 3 again, 2, 4, 3, 4, 8, 6. There we are. 